Greetings YouTube, I hope you're all having a great day so far and this is Simon here coming with you with more information on the Final Fantasy VIII Remaster and this information is courtesy of a recent interview with series producer Yoshinori Katazi and has to do with the various additional features that will be making their way into the game. In particular, it has to do with, I guess, what we could call cheats, for lack of a better word, the type of thing that we've seen with previous Final Fantasy re-releases over the last few years, so this game is going to be no different in that sense, though some of the specifics are a little varied. Now, what's interesting is that the PC version is going to have additional features over the console version of the remaster, and the reason for that is not uh, something that's publicly known as far as I'm aware, though I'm pretty sure we can have some good guesses at that and I might do so a little bit later. But as for the cheats themselves, we have got further confirmation as to what these are now. For all versions of the game, so this includes the console release and the PC release, there will be toggles that can be switched on and off whenever the player wishes to do so. And these are triple speed, so a turbo mode which can be activated at any point during the adventure, though it will not be able to be used during cutscenes. Various battle enhancements, which means the ability to instantly max HP for that battle, to max out the ATB gauge and keep it maxed, and also special moves to always be available. Now, as for special moves, I'm assuming this is translated, by the way, from Japanese. I'm assuming that that's going to involve the limit breaks of each character. And as for max HP, I don't think this means that it's going to permanently boost your party's health to 9999, which is the maximum allowed health in the game. Rather, I assume it just means that whatever their health value is will remain at that amount and will not be reduced throughout the course of that encounter. At least not until that particular enhancement is deactivated activated and the third toggle that can be activated and deactivated on all versions of the game is going to be the ability to disable random encounters okay so now the pc version of the game will include all of those features plus the ability to instantly acquire all items special moves abilities and triple triad cards now these will be permanent additions so once you've gone ahead and activated this on a save file you will not be able to turn it off again and continuing on the ability to maximize your guardian forces levels the gill that your party has and all magics to the maximum amount. Again, you cannot deactivate this once it's been enabled. And finally, the PC version is going to have highly customizable system settings. So says the translation here. Now on that last point, the fact that the PC version is going to provide highly customizable system settings is perhaps the most interesting of these features, to me at least. And it could just mean that you're going to be able to adjust the various graphical fidelity settings in order for the game to run correctly on your PC. But does this also mean that we're going to be able to have various options as to how the remaster is going to appear in terms of the remastered graphics itself? Are we going to be able to, for example, um, return turn the graphics to their original design should we wish to play with the PlayStation era graphics are we going to be able to choose between the various soundtracks going from the original to the original PC version why you'd want to do that I'm not sure but I am interested in learning what it means to have highly customizable system settings though I suspect it could very well just mean the ability to turn off some of the extra settings that the remaster has uh, as part of its release in order for the game to run smoothly on your computer but it would be interesting if this is an actual additional feature that will allow you to adjust the fidelity of how the remaster itself appears in its remastered form and finally, why are some of these additional features not coming to the console version? Well, there's no official information given about that subject. We are simply told this is what's coming to console and this is what's coming to PC. My own suspicion has to do with the achievements and trophies, which we still don't know anything about. However, what we do know is that both Sony and Microsoft are very strict in terms of the rules that they have that game publishers have to strictly follow if they wish to release their games with trophies onto those platforms. And I'm guessing that Square, who know these rules, understand that triple speed, battle enhancements and the ability to disable random enemy encounters do not circumvent those rules, but the ability to permanently max out the power level of all party members do. And this would give them certain options. Again, this is my educated conjecture, so I could be mistaken, but I suspect they either have to find a technical workaround of disabling trophy support should people decide to use these options, which then annoy people if they didn't know about 
about that technical circumvention, which means that they then have de uh, trophies disabled on a save file they've been working hard on, for example, uh, which is also an extra bit of work for Square to implement, or it means that they don't have to have trophies in their game, and you don't have to on a PS4 or Xbox game, as far as I'm aware, but then players would be upset because trophy support is a feature that people have come to expect, or they could take the route that they have taken, which is to only allow those features which do not prevent players from still earning trophies, and that seems to be the route that they've taken. But if you have your own theory as to why Square might have enabled certain additional features on the PC version, then please do share that in the comments and also let us know what you think of these additional enhancements. For me, I think the triple speed and the no random enemy encounters will be the ones I shall be using the most and I might turn the battle enhancements on and off from time to time during farming sessions just so I don't pull my hair out as often as I have done in the past. Anyway guys, I'm running out of hair now so I won't be able to do that for much longer anyway. But thanks for stopping by for the video today, I hope it's been helpful to you. If it has, please don't forget to support me by leaving a like. Check out the Fuzzfinger Gaming YouTube channel for more Final Fantasy VIII content and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye folks! Sounds like you're having fun.